We founded ArenaNet to innovate, so Guild Wars 2 is our opportunity to question everything, to make a game that defies existing conventions. If you love MMOs, you'll want to check out Guild Wars 2, and if you hate MMOs, you'll really want to check out Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2 takes everything you love about Guild Wars 1 and puts it into a persistent world. It's got more active combat, a fully branching, personalized storyline, a new event system to get people playing together, and still no monthly fees. The look of Guild Wars 2 is uh, stylized. We're going for a painterly, illustrated aesthetic. Everything in our world feels handcrafted and artisanal. We treat our environments as if they are characters themselves. When you look at the art in our game, you say, wow, that's visually stunning, I've never seen anything like that before. And then when you play the combat in our game, you say, wow, that's incredible, I've never seen anything like that. In most games, you go out and you have really fun tasks occasionally that you get to do and the rest of the game is this boring grind to get to the fun stuff. I swung a sword, I swung a sword again. Hey, I swung it again, that's great. We just don't want players to grind in Guild Wars 2. No one enjoys that, no one finds it fun. We want to change the way that people view combat. As a structure, the MMO has lost the ability to make the player feel like a hero. Everybody around you is doing the same thing you're doing. The boss you just killed respawns 10 minutes later. It doesn't care that I'm there. You'll get quest text that tells you I'm being attacked by these horrible things, and it's not actually happening. In the game world, these horrible centaurs are standing around in a field, and you get a quest step that says, go kill 10 centaurs. We don't think that's okay. You see what's happening. You see centaurs running to the trading post, knocking the walls down, burning and killing the merchants. We do not want to build the same MMO everyone else is building. And in Guild Wars 2, it's your world. It's your story. You affect things around you in a very permanent way cause and effect. A single decision made by a player cascades out in a chain of events. You're meeting new people whom you will then see again. You're rescuing a village that will stay rescued, who then remember you. The most important thing in any game should be the player. We have built a game for them.